Hey, what's happening, everyone? I am Sir James from GamerFusion.com, and for those of you who are achievement hunters, well, today I got good news for you, and that is the achievements for Rise of the Tomb Raider has been revealed. Now, I'll have a link in the description down below leading to the page I'm currently on, but do keep in mind if you do click on the link and if you're worried about any type of spoilers, the very bottom where it says hidden achievements do contain minor spoilers, so do keep that in mind. But everything else on the top section is just pretty basic stuff, and I'm going to go ahead and read a few of these. Like I said, this is not spoilers or anything like that. It's actually pretty similar to the original Tomb Raider game that came out not that long ago, or Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, give or take. So you have things such as kill a razor boar using a molotov cocktail, kill, uh, melee kill an enemy using a bottle, craft five pieces of equipment, defeat two enemies or more using a single molotov cocktail, dive into a well. First I thought it said wall, but it says well. Would have been kind of funny if that was one. Let's see, drown three enemies using a water finisher. So uh, quite a few finishing moves here, a lot of different survival tactics. Uh, different ways of killing enemies, achieving 100% game completion, uh, a lot of collectibles. Apparently there's going to be 150 cards to collect, so it's going to be pretty interesting. Hopefully these cards will have some type of interesting value to them, uh, rather than just, you know, being cards. Um, let's see, heal yourself in combat three times, and just things like that. Like I said, if you guys want to see the full list, I'll have a link in the description down below. But like I said, do keep in mind that the very bottom section where it says hidden achievements do contain some minor spoilers, so you have been warned. But what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section down below, and just to quickly go over, do keep in mind that Rise of the Tomb Raider is a timed exclusive with Microsoft, so it'll be coming out this year for the Xbox One shortly after for PC, and then a year later for PlayStation 4. But again, let me know in the comment section what you think. And of course, how many people are looking for this game? Let me know. For me, I'm really excited for the game. So I'm definitely going to be picking this up for the Xbox One or PC. I haven't really decided yet. But until then, I am Sir James from GamerFusion.com, where we empower your gaming.